Oh my goodness, Sagittarius, you're going to be so happy with this tarot reading today because you have this Ten of Swords. Now stay with me, my friend. I know some of you Sagittarians are familiar with tarot, so you see the Ten of Swords and you're like, girl, that's not a good card. I'm out of here. Sagittarius, I promise you, especially in this tarot deck, how it's illustrated is that this, you know, this the sunshine, the light is coming back into the front. That's why you see like the shadow uh, leaving her, right? So it represents like, you already went through the painful chapter, darling, right? So seeing these Ten Swords, it's like you're able to look back and be like oh wow i was stabbed a lot there right so it's not the sense of foreshadowing for you sagittarius where you're having a lot of pain tens represents closures to cycles so it's like you went through a lot of pain honey you've been backstabbed 10 20 30 different times 30 different ways here all right you are just now finally about to be see seeing the sun after going through such a dark period in your life sagittarius all right so that's what i see here for you i have your cards here to make some solid predictions i'm going to talk about your career um, as well as your relationships, your social life, uh, Sagittarius. But let me introduce myself real quick. My name is Simply Valka Darling. I've been reading tarot cards for over 12 years. And what makes my tarot readings a little bit different from others, Sagittarius, is, well, yes, I'll talk about the good things you're manifesting, but what good is hearing about all that if you don't know how to go from point A to point B, right? To claim that good stuff, right? And so I like to have people that watch my tarot readings to leave my videos with a sense of direction and knowing what to be doing next. And so if I sound like the type of tarot reader for you, Let's just get started here, Saji. All right. The clarifying cards that we have for this Ten of Swords is the Hanged Man, as well as the King of Cups, and then the Two of Cups coming in here for you, Sagittarius. And so first thing I want to be noting here, from a social way, all right, I'm going to transmute these cards in a social way first and foremost, is that definitely someone that you have not talked to, all right? You might have even said the words that they are a narcissist or toxic, and you just did not want to mess with them anymore. And I use the word narcissist because um a lot of people like to use the word narcissist and diagnose people when in actuality they're just the person that they're talking about that they diagnose as a narcissist is someone that's just very emotionally mature or not self-aware about their behaviors not to say that they're not right i'm not i don't care right i'm not sitting here trying to argue but the overall trait that i'm noticing here is that what caused for this relationship to not work out and be pain after pain after pain after pain with this ten of swords sagittarius is the root cause of it is just like emotionally un available emotionally immature here all right so to see this hanged man coming in here i see this and she's like all right with especially with that king of cups it's like someone has put in the personal work and i know for a fact the only reason why they put in the personal work sagittarius it's almost a sense of like someone that was emotionally mature those 10 swords didn't happen overnight so that shows to me you gave someone so many different chances because you gave them the benefit of the doubt you saw the potential yada 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 and so you gave him a wake-up call, I feel, where you stopped communication or you just, you weren't even engaging with them anymore, uh, Sagittarius. And I feel like that gave him the wake-up call and having them realize where it's like, wait a minute, I need to improve myself. I need to straighten my own self out. And it's almost as if your your lack of action and communication towards them put a mirror in front of their face and forced this person, Sagittarius, to see where they were being extremely irrational or emotionally immature here. And so that was very necessary for them to finally have like a coming to God moment, coming to Jesus moment, honey. Of where they realize like oh i need to like change my ways if i actually want to have good people stay in my life and so definitely this is like a hat off to you um sagittarius and like how good of a person the impact that you have in other people's lives it does definitely uh leave a mark when you exit from their life right because they can acknowledge even if with um the fighting and words that might be said sagittarius they can acknowledge like your value as a person emotionally intelligent like mentally as intelligently so on and so forth here right and so socially i get someone really um trying to come back into your life here taking the steps to communicate with you sagittarius and be like hey you know can we talk this out potentially from a more mature place obviously what you do with that's your business now if i were to make these predictions um based off of just you sagittarius um this leads me to just overall believe and i see just new friendships new connections coming in here and i'm looking at your career and your hobbies your uh what's manifesting for you currently right now uh sagittarius it leads me to believe that i feel like you're going to be attracting some new friendships all right like i see you in like a new setting because you recently have gone through like a transformation of some type it'll make more sense as we continue on in your reading based off your other cards because it's pretty juicy here sagittarius like 
I get like this impression for like the past like three months, you have really gone through so much chaos, so much stress that it's really changed you as a person in a good way. Right. But it's with all this change, like you're really going into new directions. And I feel like in this new direction, you're really attracting a new type of folk. All right. Um, so overall, really positive. I get nothing negative about this. Let's see if there's any clarifying cards about this. If I misinterpreted anything here. Yeah. Five of swords, whatever it is that you, you definitely Sagittarius, the lover's energy and then the nine of cups yeah definitely Sagittarius someone that you guys left because they were just bringing so much BS to you here is going to be trying to come back to you and be like oh hey can you give me another chance here right but you definitely cut somebody off because they just kept on doing some shady crap it's like trying to be friends with somebody and every time you talk to them they always tell somebody else and gossip about like it's like someone just made it so hard to be their friend it's like they like you would perceive their actions if you didn't know them be like oh you're just a evil bitch <laughs> i don't know that's came out um anyways let's get into your career now sagittarius and then your just your hobbies and projects overall energy king of swords this is not a surprise to me because this is just showcasing to me with all the trauma that you have been going through you have really grown up as a person your awareness is just next level here sagittarius you definitely are have made lemonades out of lemons here but when it comes to your career overall king of swords this is going to be a pretty solid theme for you here in this reading because i think it's important like this this is like to me the epitome of where you have you have a, an awareness about your work situation maybe the work environment like you really honed in on the people that are involved in your life and the work relations and as well as just like what you need to do for your career and i want you to trust that intelligence as much as possible sagittarius all right as this king of swords allow this to really guide you in the just steps that you make because it's like you are hyper aware of your situation right now and how to maneuver things but i feel like it's really important for you to acknowledge that but not vocalize it to people it's just like don't allow people to th like if someone thinks you're dumb don't try to correct them right now Sagittarius all right I really do feel like some I don't know there's like this tenseness that comes into your work environment with the seven of wands like someone's like seeing you as competition maybe someone just doesn't really respect your intelligence is trying to take advantage of you or something in that manner here Sagittarius I don't know it's a weird kind of negative tone with this here but four swords coming in lets you know where it's just like don't confront this head on metamorphosis card as well profound change so I don't feel like you're going to be working this situation for too much longer but there is like this message here Sagittarius where it's like you can be honed in on like the the messed up crap things people are trying to do the shadiness that people are trying to do and not engage with it with that four swords representing there it's like trying to remind yourself of like where you're trying to go and if you were to cut yourself off from this now uh would it be the smartest thing for you right you you could hate your job right but is right now the moment where you tell your boss to f off and quit maybe not maybe you need to wait a little bit longer develop a game plan before you get out just be aware you know don't psych yourself out like you are definitely very hyper aware of your situation right now in your work environment and like the steps that you need to be taking like you have an unpopular opinion you have an unpopular view you have an unpopular uh way of life that you want to be going that i don't feel like a lot of people agree with but who cares like it's not as if like you're getting graded in life on based off of how many people agree with what it is that you do you just need to trust your own instincts darling all right i like where it is that you're going in this regard here i don't know there's just like this weird tenseness sagittarius when it comes to your career like definitely like jealousy or something in that manner there let's get some clarifying cards with this here before i send it out yeah three of pentacles coming in sagittarius do not be trusting nobody at your work environment right now just mind your own business <laughs> currently here keep work connections here as work connections don't try to make it anything else six of pentacles because i definitely do feel as if what you tell somebody what you give to somebody it is not serving you at all it's definitely like someone's like gossiping or someone's just using this as fuel page of cups coming in here i do definitely feel as if your spiritual team is developing an exit plan for you for this situation you know like they're really trying to get you out of this toxic place where it's like you put in so much time and energy people are just out to get you even like what you're being paid is not being properly compensated here the, your spiritual team is letting you know they're developing an exit plan here with this page of cups new energy by with a new opportunity a new work thing here but don't rush this along allow this page of cups to marinate a little bit more before you pull the trigger darling the best that you can 
So now let's get into your relationship, Sagittarius. The person that I've tapped into, this could be romantic, platonic, family related, friendship, past, present, future, darling. All right. It's not up for me to label it here, but you have the nine of cups as this overall energy. All right. And so what I see here, Sagittarius, is going back into like the social aspect from your very first row. It's really interesting. I feel like we're referencing this old energy again because you have the judgment card, the two of swords, and then the king of wands. This to me reads off as somebody that you definitely have split off from at one point in time as that two of swords like your path you made the decision and going a different direction here Sagittarius and the reason what caused for this is you being in your highest power girl focus hello <laughs> you being in your highest power Sagittarius you know so it really wouldn't surprise me if like who you moved on from was just disrespectful perhaps judgment energy yeah again it just leads me to believe that someone just was on their bs enough and then there's the feather that broke the camel's back where you're just like you know what screw you i'm going my own way here all right and with this nine of cups situation sagittarius this leads me to believe of where it's just like there is just definitely somebody who does not want to let you go i feel that you did that judgment call with like i really feel like you bruised somebody's ego here sagittarius which is not a bad thing all right but there is definitely this sense of where i feel like there's just so much regret from this person here that pushed you into going your own path and i feel like when it comes to this person here they're definitely intimidated by you because they see you in that king of wands position. And so because they're intimidated by you and they do have some level, even if they don't show it, they acknowledge the position that you are as a person where you are in life with so on and so forth, that they may not even ever reach out to you about it. Like their pride gets too much in the way where they're just like, oh man, and almost hoping for you Sagittarius to come back to them at some point in time. And then they'll be like, oh yeah, Sagittarius, we can talk. But it's almost as if this person doesn't want to admit where they were wrong. Like they can acknowledge where they went wrong, but it's like pride won't allow them to vocalize it. They'll just sit there. They'd rather sit in their own feces and feel sorry for themselves rather than practice some humility and apologize and just improve. I don't know. It's really interesting. I know that's pretty critical, uh, Sagittarius, but that's what I got here. See if there's any final thoughts with this here. Now, what you do with these uh, with the situation here, that's obviously your business, Sagittarius. I don't know this person. And so it's like, who the heck am I to tell you how to handle somebody here? But I'll tell you some the three cards that dropped off here. Six of Swords. This is a card where someone that chooses to leave a situation, even if it brought some pain to them, they understand that they have to go into a new place to move on. And they just because there's this sense of sadness, this sense of bittersweetness, that doesn't mean they go back. They continue committing to a new path here. You have the strength card coming in here. This is your shadow work. The, again, this doesn't surprise me. This pops up because this leads me to believe this has been a pattern in, in your life. Maybe you're a people pleaser and that's something that you've noticed with a lot of toxic situations is that you give too many chances. Allow for this person to come into completion in your life because they're simply shadow work to you and allow this to come to a, uh, a close. You know the uh, the saying Sagittarius of where it's like some people are in your life for a season. That season has come into completion with that person there. And now it's just really important Important for you to see the person for where they're at and then to just move on or at least that's the advice that tarot is saying with this but as i said again darling what you choose to do with it is your business right it doesn't impact my life at all i'm just here to give you the food for thought hmm, excuse me anyway sagittarius this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you hopefully something in here resonated and if you're looking for further clarity in your life you can book a private tarot reading with me on my website linked down below simplyvelka.com and i'll talk to you later my beautiful saggy bye darling <laughs>